Hello and welcome to a ROM review of DWA Towers 28005 Windows Mobile 6.5.3 build. Now to ensure that this is a completely fair review, I'm going to hard reset the device to take it back to the defaults. Now I warn you ahead, this can take quite a while to set up on first boot as there's a lot going on. Firstly we will see there will be a new boot screen for the Omnia. Now, it's not to everyone's taste, but it's nice to have a professional looking boot screen that's not the official. You'll also see that we have a new Windows header. These will be visible in every boot of the phone. Ok so next up we have this Windows Phone background, this ties in a lot with the advertising Windows Mobile 6.5 and I'd say it looks pretty good. Ok now the phone will currently be running shadow processors but soon enough you'll get a small text here saying tap your screen to set up your device. OK, so now I have to align the screen. OK, once aligned we will see this small message box here saying that it will customise automatically within 3 seconds. This will then start loading files. Here we can see that we have the iTouch cab, followed by the AIO Security Off and SRH WOW HD, and finally the SKDK Certificates cab. Once these have installed, the device will restart itself. So this is what it will look like every time that you turn the phone on and off. You will see that we still have the new boot screen coming now. Followed by the Windows header. OK, I'll now enter my PIN. Now many of you may have already noticed, we do get the keypad from the 6.1 build, which seems a little strange. I've been using Kronachi's uh, 6.5 build, and I like the glossier newer dialer, but I'm not sure if this is just custom to Kronachi. OK, and here we are, the ROM's all loaded up, you can see that it's found the operator OK. <laughs> now, a lot of you will notice we have this Happy Holidays background, not my kind of thing, but I guess it's kind of festive. OK, on first boot, you'll find that it detects the SIM card, and it will ask if you would like to set the settings for it. So if we go ahead and say yes. It should then automatically adjust our internet settings and so forth. Okay, so here we are. 
Now we'll see how it goes in responsiveness. On first boot it can be a little bit sluggish. But there we are scrolling through titanium. Sorry about that. Okay, it's now connecting to WAP. Obviously, as a reading to Explorer. Okay, so it's reasonably responsive after a while. Anyway, let's go into the start menu by the new taskbar. Okay, if we go into the settings and the system. can see the version here. We're using a DXIF1 build. It's a little hard for me to focus in on that, but you can just about make that out. Okay, if we look at the memory, on a fresh boot, we can see here that we have 143.14 megabytes free and there is 13.21 in use. Program wise we have 35.91 in use and 61.47 free. Now about the new graphical user interface. At the top now you can see that we have this nice glossy taskbar which we can scroll through sideways or we can simply select it from the bar. Also, the main features of the new build is this small taskbar down here. 